This is the Momentum Educate and Innovate podcast. Hello, Sanya. Um, nice to see you again. Um, would you tell us a little bit about yourself and what are you doing here today? Hi, it's so unusual to speak to you even in this format. We have uh, microphones in front of us, we have um, earphones, we have all these uh, techie things and um, what people might not know is that you and I used to um, chat like this over a cup of coffee here in uh, the, the west of Ireland in this area. Um, it's nice to be back in Ireland even for a few days. I'm visiting my Momentum Pals. So my name is Sanja Ivandic. Um, at the moment I live in Germany. I have a company called Outside Media Knowledge. I used to work uh, with Momentum for Momentum and um, let's go deeper into who we are and what we do. Okay, brilliant. Um... Tell us a little bit about your project that you're working um, at outside. Okay, so um, one of the projects that actually got me here in Ireland this, this time is called Well Hoodie, and um, it, it's an exciting name, um, it's an exciting project and a mission. Uh, it's all about young people and their well-being. But this time what we did, we innovated in the way we look at what, what well-being of young people is and what's, um, wh what is it consisted of. So um, as I was uh, very into intercultural work um, and inclusion and belonging, I had to notice that uh, young people after COVID, but even before COVID, were just um, maybe not building their well-being on the principles uh, connected to inclusion. And I've noticed that, um, unfortunately, very often uh, young people um, socialize in these little groups uh, that are um, very often, again, divided, and COVID just enhanced that, enhanced isolation and separation. And we collected research that showed that um, young people and communities in general are happier together when they embrace diversity. So this project basically says that well-being of youth should be built upon principles and facts of diversity and belonging. And therefore we produce learning resources for youth educators to um, bring this idea closer to young people, to gather them together, to teach them inclusion, to teach them to mind their well-being, but to do it together. Mm -hmm. And how did you come up with the idea for the project? Um, it really truly came from my um, from the mixture of my personal and uh, professional experience. So. Um, I've had the fortune and the privilege to move some countries in my life, to live in different places. Um, that helped me uh, analyze what's happening with different groups of people. That um, kind of inspired me to look at what um, helps inclusion and belonging and what uh, challenges people in that process. And um, I was also looking at my family members and especially the young, young members of the family and friends and in different countries in Germany and uh, friends in Ireland and noticed that young people are in their rooms, especially with what COVID did to them, that there are groups of migrants whose three years of life have come to um, them being very isolated and not having opportunities to interact with um, their peers. I've also seen that um, that young people who have lived in the same place for their entire lives might not have education and opportunities to show them that uh, embracing someone different and someone new is a good thing. And then they're all together kind of doomed with these social media channels and their phones. And they're just not moving towards well-being. 
and um, I, I um, presented this idea to Orla in Momentum and together we looked at some research and then we um, brought together different partners from uh, different countries that have profiles interesting for, for, for this case. And we did research and we found that um, indeed um, well-being can be built on the facts of diversity, that people in diverse communities are actually happier. So that's what this project then became, a kind of a happiness project for young people. Okay, brilliant. Can you tell us um, a little bit more about the partners of the project? Yeah, it's a very vivid, interesting partnership. So we're, we're so um, lucky to be able to bring diverse partners together. This is an Erasmus Plus funded project. It's K2 project, meaning that uh, we produce intellectual outputs, learning resources for youth educators, but also adult educators if needed to use and to, to um, upscale uh, youngsters and to help them in their lives. And to do that, we needed uh, youth educators and we, we are that ourselves in outside and in, in momentum, but we wanted to include other countries um, either affected by this problem or countries with some interesting solutions. So we were lucky to have Youth Power from Germany join the consortium. Uh, Drambliss from Spain is also um, a very vivid partner, full of experience. Lalaba from France uh, is one of the most creative partners we've ever uh, worked with. Um, EUEI, European E-Learning Institute from Denmark, takes care of our uh, digitization, our e-learning platforms, so that we meet the needs of young people where they feel comfortable using it. So often it's digitized world, but we do it with this um, understanding and, and, and uh, social mission. And then Folk University um, from Sweden is leading the project. Uh, I've already mentioned Momentum from Ireland. Um, is contributing with their high, high social impact that they have, especially on youth and youth educators. And then outside uh, media and knowledge uh, from Germany, but in, uh, in, in the different part of Germany than youth power, so we cover a lot of Germany there, um, we kind of take care of uh, promoting the project and making sure it's visible and um, that it, it reaches the right target groups. So it's a lovely, lovely partnership. This is the Momentum Educate and Innovate Podcast.